Ladies and gents, let's have a chat with our two special guests again today. Would you please welcome to the stage John McGinley and Dean Windus. Gentlemen, I'll start with you, John. Um, what did you make of it from a, a Bolton perspective? Well, usual result. Uh, I think Bolton's aim here was to come here today and probably stop Hull playing. Spoil the game a little bit, try and keep themselves in there. Which they did to a certain extent, but didn't offer anything in open play. I felt probably Bolton's best chance of scoring a goal today would have been a, a set piece, a corner and a free kick. Other than that, they changed their system. They played three centre halves, had five at the back. Obviously pushing forward with the two wing backs pushing on at times, but again, in open play, just a lack of quality. Yeah, for us, Dean, not a classic performance perhaps, but um, the results are what counts at, this, or at any stage of the season, but certainly at the moment. I think we were better than the referee anyway. <laughs> Put that together, eh? <laughs> referee was awful, was funny, but um, no, bad performance, but good result. Said, said a club spokesman. Careful, Dane. I know, but listen, you know, he made decisions where you just think, just let the game go, you know, he's talking to people and he doesn't need to talk to people, but that's referees, they'll never change, will they? But um, we've won the game. Steve will be absolutely delighted that we've got a performance. Brighton have drawn top of the league, so, you know, it pegs them back a little bit. Um, you know, a bit disappointing. Michael's pulled his hamstring again, so he looks like he'll be out for a two or three weeks again, um, but it gives gives Harry or, or Alex, if he's fit, to, to, to get back in the team. But as a performance-wise, you know, it, listen, it's very difficult when you're a footballer and you, you're on the pitch and it's swirling wind and it's raining and the quality's not very good and the crowd's a little bit cold and flat. Um, but we got the goal at the right time. You know, that Pom's come in. You know, he's disappointed to be left out in the last few weeks, but he's come in and scored a goal, so... He'll be wanting to play again on Wednesday. Talk us through the goal, Dean, and we could have had maybe one or two more, a couple of other chances. Yeah, it was a good, obviously a good move on the left-hand side, and uh, Elmo, you know, swung his left left swinger, and it could have gone in, kicked off the line. He's followed in as the goal scorers do, and as you say, he's hit it into the ground. If he probably hit it true, with it probably gone over the bar, so he scuffed it a little bit. But you do get them. Um, but as you say, it wasn't the best performance. You know, glad to get the game over really and, and walk away with three points. Yeah, John, from a, a Bolton point of view, not a great day. Clearly, what did you make of City? Very impressed. I mean, you've got a fantastic squad, a lot of quality throughout the squad. Uh, probably didn't capitalise, like you said, as much maybe on your on your dominance today in, in open play. Probably a lot of wing play and didn't quite get the final balls in the box. But again, very impressed. And I think when you look back upon this game. It wasn't a great game to watch, but you guys get promotion at the end of the season. You won't care about how we played or how you played in this game. You'll just be glad you got the three points. You're an experienced footballer, John. Um, is that promotion team, City? Obviously. Unfortunately, not Bolton this year. No, not, certainly not Bolton this year. Uh, you're going to be in the mix, that's for sure. You know, I mean, Brighton have had a fantastic start. You expect Derby County to be in there. You know, there's, all, there's a few other teams that have invested heavily in their teams in the summer. And probably teams will invest again in January. So, looking at you now, you've got a lot of experience, a lot of Premier League players and it's still in your squad. You've got that luxury. And you're going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah. Finally, Dean, for, for City, confidence today needed a result, needed to come back um, ahead of a, a busy couple of weeks. Well, the Christmas period is massive for footballers. You know, and as you say, we've just, you know, we've, we've got back on the ladder again now after the last three results. You know, as you said, the lads will be absolutely relieved that we've got a result. Because everybody, like John said, everybody expected us to win today. Nobody expected uh, Bolton to get anything. So that was the pressure that we've just got to foul shoulders. But now another massive game live on, on Sky on, on Wednesday night against against Reading. So, you know, we're a tough, you know, they'll come here like Bolton have done today and try to spoil it. And that gives us, gives, we have to give the honours, especially at home, because we do so well at home, that, you know, Teams try getting us on the counter attack, you know, and sit in, and we have to break them down. But certainly, we have to perform better than what we did today because, you know, Reading, no disrespect to John's Bolton, but they'll be better than Bolton. Yeah, good result today, though, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed your time with us this afternoon. Uh, I'm Alex Burgess. Please give your thanks to John McGinley and to Dean Windus.